I have an announcement. And so drum roll. I quit my job. So I left my full-time job last week and that was something I never imagined I would be doing. Um, I feel like most of you didn't really know what I did for work, so I'll just give you sort of like a summary. I got a full-time job at an ad agency, so I was doing a lot of digital marketing for a bunch of clients. I just wanna say I was super lucky to be able to find a job that was like super cool, but also at the same time, I would just wake up and not really wanna go. Nothing bad about the company, it just wasn't something I was excited to do at work. I realized that after work, I would come home, write songs, stay up late, play my guitar for hours, and sing, and that was just something I looked forward to the most every day. And then I realized I didn't want to grow old and just look back and be like, oh, you should have went for it and um, try to make music for a living. And yes, that's all super scary, but fast forward to, I don't know, Marina 80 years from now, I know that she wouldn't want me to be wasting my time sitting around doing something that I didn't nearly half enjoy as much as making music. So I left my job. Okay, so it wasn't that simple to take this big leap and I feel like I need to give you like a backstory. So let's let's rewind it back to 2011. So when I was 13, I moved from Thailand to Canada. That's when I taught myself guitar. I would skip parties to come home and rehearse for hours until my fingers would bleed. Going back to the corner where I first saw you. I never really thought I could pursue music, so I went to university for business. In second year, I went on a singing competition in the Philippines, which was amazing. I got my degree, I did a full-time job at the ad agency, and I was still not really happy with what I was doing. I came up with an idea which I think could be really cool. First of all, I just want to say I am very, very thankful that you guys are watching this video and you've been supporting me and being really, really just kind to me and my music. And I just want to say thank you. I had this idea the other day when I was writing a bunch of songs and I just kept scrapping them. What would happen if I just brought you along with me on my songwriting journey and kind of showed you all the songs that haven't been posted on YouTube and all the videos of the process on how I write a song and how it first starts off a certain way but ends up completely different. And there's just so much more that I want to share with you than just the things I post on YouTube. And that's why I decided to create a secret songwriting club on Patreon. If you guys don't know what Patreon is, it's just a platform where you're able to support me and I'm able to create content for you. So there's a bunch of different tiers uh, which you can do that in and I'm gonna put the link in the description below for you to check out. But yeah, if you'd like to be a part of my secret songwriting club, you'll be able to see all of the songs that I've um, written and never posted. You can help me write a song. You can see like behind the scenes of me making YouTube videos like this and just more on like my life and, and all the funds that get donated into the songwriting club will be put directly back into all my videos that I make. Going to the studio for example costs uh, money but obviously that's something I want done um, especially if you guys are requesting a lot of that. Those are just some examples of how I want to give back to you and how I think I can make this work at least uh, for now. So in the spirit of this songwriting journey that I'm about to venture in I thought I'd bring you guys along and give you a little snippet in this video uh, of a new original song that I'm gonna be posting next week. Keyboard! This song I like wrote on on the piano and I thought it looked, would sound a lot better. I tried it on my like, guitar but it didn't sound as um, nice. It didn't sound the way I wanted it to so. Oh I love it when that happens. Let's fix that a little bit. Yeah so right now I'm just like selecting the instrument I want this piano to be. Experimental. Ooh. I dig it. This is what I have so far. Um, I wrote this when I was like feeling super sad. <laughs> Those are the chords that I kind of came up with. Some days I feel it in my bones. I've got so much misery inside. I'm trying to get a word to rhyme with lips. This line, I want it to be like, you know, I taste you in my mouth, like you're still around. Um, I can almost feel your lips, um, kind of like reminiscing it, uh, but I don't know how to end it. Like what rhymes with lips? Um, strips, chicken strips, okay. Imagine, fish and chips, no. <laughs> Ooh, I like slip. 
like we're slowly slipping away, but they slowly slip. Some days I taste you in my mouth, one, two, three. I can feel your hips and almost touch your lips. Your fingers trickle down, but they slowly slip. Also, I feel like this instrument is too happy. You know what I mean? So I don't even know if this is the proper way to do it, but for now, I'm just gonna like increase the bassy sounds and decrease like the treble sounds. <gasps> okay, that's a little that's a little extreme. Some days I feel it in my bones. I've got so much misery inside of me in a 22-year-old body. Some days I taste you in my mouth. I can feel your hips and almost touch your lips. Your fingers trickle down, but they'll slowly slip. <laughs> I love you. Okay, guys, I'm gonna continue writing that song. I just wanna say thank you, thank you so much for all of your support for watching my videos. I wish I could hug every single one of you, but yeah, I quit my job. I'm gonna be doing music or attempting to be doing music. I'd really, really love to have you guys along with me. So again, I'm gonna leave the Patreon link down below. I'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah.